What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader, and as promised, I wanted to go through a few more loose graded Star Wars figures that all sold here recently. I'm trying to clean out my watch list, start the new year off with a clean slate, and I think there's only like maybe three or four different sellers that we're going to cover here. But the items are pretty incredible. As you can see in this thumbnail, we had an AFA 90 loose graded yak face that sold for insane money. A painted head Taiwan Boba Fett that was loose graded AFA 85. A hollow cheeks Tusken Raider. And remember, if you go back to my last market update, there was an old case Tuscan Raider with the hollow cheeks that sold for about $440. Wait till you see the price on this one. And then finally in this thumbnail, we had a glass light, glass light or glass leet made in Brazil C-3PO loose graded AFA 80 plus. So this is just some of the highlights that you're going to see today. Just incredible items. Let's go ahead and dig right in. Uh, the first one is this seller's uh, Phillies Joe 7. I don't know this seller. I haven't bought from this seller, but I do have subscribers that have been very happy with their purchases from this seller and it seems like he has a never-ending supply of loose graded AFA figures all of them with archival cases this one was an AFA 85 trash monster Dianoga figure and it sold at auction for 191 50 plus 1285 shipping I thought this price was actually pretty fair uh, just given that it's got the archival case brand new beautiful brand new graded here's the label on it 85 near mint plus so 191 50 took that one home this is the one that was the big surprise, and I was shocked by this final sales price. This was an Alea Organa Bestman, but this is the tougher to find. Admittedly, this is the, the only time I've seen one of these come up for sale since I bought mine about three or four years ago. Turtleneck, but it's got the textured cape. The textured cape has a kind of a weird ribbing uh, texture to it, and it's very, very tough to find. It's the Hong Kong COO. And I have this exact item, brand new case style, archival case, AFA 85. Now, three or four years ago, I paid about $250 for mine, and I'm like, what are you doing, John? This is an insane price to pay for a loose graded Leia Bespin. Well, it turns out it wasn't so insane. This one sold for $601.99 in an auction, 48 bids. Now, I'm not trying to, to dog on whoever paid that price. I'm just saying that it's it's very tough to find it. The textured Cape Leia Hong Kong Bespin, is, it's just... I don't remember the last time I've seen one for sale since I bought mine. And again, that, that was three or four years ago. But beautiful item. And congrats to whoever got that because that's a that's a rarity. It's very tough to find. Uh, next up is the Wicket. And this was an AFA 85 archival case again. 193.50 took that one home. I think that price was very fair given that many eBay sellers will try to list this for $275 to $300 minimum. So to get that for 193.50, I thought was fair. Uh, here was a power droid. Now I'm going to show you two power droids in this video. One from this seller. Another one is the Short V, uh, as labeled by AFA. Uh, both of them were AFA 85. This is just the standard power droid. It sold for 245.50 uh, at auction. 18 bids that closed on December 31st, New Year's Eve. And then uh, he also had an AFA 80 Cloud Car Pilot archival case. That one sold for 172.50 plus 1285 shipping. Uh, next up was a Luke Skywalker. Now, this is one I don't have in my collection. I would like to get it eventually. This is the Hong Kong brown hair. I've got the no COO brown hair, but I do not have the Hong Kong COO. AFA 80 archival case, and it's got kind of a, a medium brown hair. There's a dark, dark brown hair, which I do have. That's a Hong Kong. And then there's this letter brown hair. That's uh, I, I feel like it's a little bit tougher to find than uh, some of the other variants out there. I think the dark, dark brown hair is actually tougher than this one, but this is a pretty tough variant to find in high grade condition, but a beautiful figure. That one sold for 385. I thought that price was very fair. I would have paid that all day long. Um, I just didn't have the money, unfortunately, with some of my recent purchases, but uh, a beautiful example. 385 took that one home. Um, this price was a little bit of a shocker. AFA 85 plus Bosk, and this one had the olive head glossy paint Hong Kong but tough to find that one in an 85 plus condition. That one sold for $393.89. Actually, honestly, I think that price isn't too bad. We documented one on the channel that sold earlier in 2022 that was an AFA 90 that sold for $660 if memory serves. But this one was an AFA 85 plus, so obviously the price would be a slight discount to that. 393 is probably about right. Just very tough to get that one. With all the white on that figure, on the, ch on the straps and on the chest, and especially on the back. The back always gets scratches on the back, but this one was crystal clean. 
and a uh, beautiful figure. So 393, I think was more than fair for that one. Uh, he also had a couple of baggies or four baggies that I'm going to cover in this video. This was an AF-85 Nikto baggie. Uh, this one sold for 157 Again, I think that price is more than fair. Ungraded, you can probably pick this up for 75 to 80 bucks. But to get one in the archival case in an AFA-85, I think that price is probably about right. Uh, he also had an a AFA-80 Plus Klaatu Skiff Guard baggie. That one sold for $118.50. Again, I think ungraded they can go for 75 to 80 bucks you're going to pay 60 bucks plus shipping to and from afa so to get it for in an afa 80 plus archival case 118.50 plus shipping uh, next up was the anakin skywalker last 17 baggie this one also was an afa 85 that one sold for 182.50 again i think that's more than fair for that mail away anakin but the big surprise was this one this was an afa 80 blue snaggletooth baggie and we all know how tough that is to find. Look how clean those boots are. Beautiful figure. I think it only got the 80 because of some very, very faint paint wear to the boots. Um, there was also a factory applied hole in the baggie. And then, of course, the torso, as we've talked about with these blue snaggletooth, it, even inside this sealed baggie, it did discolor. You can see how much darker and kind of greenish that torso is relative to the limbs on that one. So that's why I got the 80, but still a, an incredible sales price of $2,247 plus shipping on that one. So uh, good luck getting a baggie uh, for blue snaggletooth. Just insanely expensive nowadays. Uh, here's another seller, Brown's. 8888 we document his sales a lot on the channel and he always has beautiful high grade figures this one was an afa 85 at at commander uh, with the brand new case style gorgeous figure hong kong coo that one sold for 153.50 i thought that price was very fair that's that's a price i'd be willing to pay all day long uh, same with this obi-wan kenobi this is the light gray hair hong kong afa 85 and the price again for obi-wan we've talked about this on the channel recently Prices have come down for AFA-85 loose-graded Obi-Wans. Uh, this one was like 400 to 450 almost all of 2022. This one sold for 285 plus 468 shipping. Again, that's a price I would happily pay all day long. Uh, the, here was an AFA-90 Admiral Akbar, And you know that you're going to pay a lot for Admiral Akbars in an AFA-90. Any AFA-90 you're going to pay a lot for. But this one was a really good price, I think. 304 I mean, to me, that price is not that bad. Uh, AFA 85s can set you back 175 or so. Uh, 304 for that one for an AFA 90. You know you're going to be paying a multiple for an AFA 90. I think that price was very, very fair. Uh, next up, going back to the power droid. Now, here is the short V mold power droid. And AFA has started labeling that on the label. So that's an interesting fact that is fairly new development. I don't know when they started moving over to labeling this as the short V mold. But this is the hot new variant, and this was an AFA 85, and you knew the price was going to be high. 348.52 took that one home, and uh, that compares to this one, which is just the standard mold of the Power Droid that sold for 245. So 245 for the standard mold, and uh, you, you know again for for the short V, uh, that one sold for 348. So about a hundred dollar premium for the short V mold in an AFA 85. Uh, next up was an AFA Zuckus. This one had the circles on the knees and heels. This is the Hong Kong variant with the brand new case style. That one was an AFA 85 again. That one sold for 179 bucks plus shipping. I think that price is kind of right in line with market. 175 or so <clears throat> tends to take that one home for about that price. Now let's dig into CIB, Collectible Investment Brokerage. They are affiliated with AFA and they do a lot of sales. Uh, on eBay, and uh, here is the Hollow Cheeks Sand People AFA 85, brand new case style. I was willing to go up to about 600 bucks for that. This is a variant I'd like to get, but um, you know, even that I think is ridiculous, given that one just sold in an older style case for 440 bucks or so plus shipping. You can say you can round it up to about 500 bucks after accounting for the global shipping program, because it was an international sale for that other sale. Uh, but this one was by CIB here in the U.S down in Norcross, Georgia. That one sold for $821. That price is flabbergasting. I mean, you know, CIB in general, they always tend to command big money because they ship worldwide and they know that, you know, whoever's bidding on this knows they're going to get the item because it's affiliated with AFA. You got the pedigree. 
you got the sales, you know, reputation, so to speak. So anybody international that ha maybe has a currency advantage or uh, just big whales in general, uh, they're going to be willing to bid these up. And so that's the negative of trying to bid on some of the items from CIB. But the positive is you know you're going to get the item. You know there's not going to be any gains at all. And uh, they, they do a great job. I've, I've bought from CIB in the past away from eBay. But I don't know if I've ever bought anything from CIB on eBay in an auction. But uh, and the reason is they the prices usually go well outside of my comfort zone. And this is one of them. $821 took that one home. But they got the hot stuff, and this one was an AFA 90 Yoda Brown Snake Dark Green Skin Hong Kong COO. I question whether this is a 90. If you look at the hand, it's got some marks on it, on both hands, really. And who knows if that's from the case rubbing up against it or if that's actual wear. I tend to think, at least on that right hand, those spots on the hand are wear. And so I don't know how it got the 90. I mean, it may be an 85 plus, but a 90 just seems like it's overgraded to me. Uh, $920 is what someone was willing to pay for that one. Again, I, I preached this on the channel that you got to buy the figure and not the grade. And in my opinion, this is not an AFA 90. This is an 85 or an 85 plus at best, just given the wear to the hands. But somebody was willing to pay it. And $920, I mean, to me, you can get a really nice mint on card, 32 back B debut card for less than this price. And, uh, you know, 920 is just well, well outside. I was thinking like 400 to 450 would have been what I'd be willing to pay for this. And again, no offense if you bought this, but in my opinion, this one is overgraded. This is not a 90 grade figure, in my opinion. Uh, next up, let's dig into those beautiful Brazilian glass leet or glass lights. This is the C3PO AFA 80 Plus, And this is the first of two that sold at auction here on January 1st. This one sold for $817. I mean, to me, there's no comparison. An AFA 90 standard Yoda brown snake versus an 80 plus Brazilian loose graded C-3PO. I'm taking the C-3PO for less money. That is a great deal. And I do know who bought that. Congratulations to the buyer on that one. I think that was a very fair price just given what it was. And that same buyer who's a buddy of mine, he did buy the Glass Leet or Glass Light Darth Vader AFA 85. I don't think I've ever seen an AFA 85 Glasslight Vader come up for auction ever. And uh, this one did. And it was $1,040. To me, am I willing to pay that? No. Uh, but, you know, these ungraded can go for $700 to $750. And to get one AFA 85, you're, you're, you're going to have to pay a premium. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but again, going back to that Yoda that was AFA 90, that sold for $920 bucks versus the Glasslight Vader AFA 85. There's no comparison. I'd take the glass light Vader all day long, and congratulations to the buyer on that one. Uh, CIB also had this one. This is the brown hair, dark pants, Luke Farm Boy, but this is the no COO. This is one I do have in my collection, admittedly, in an older style case. This one had the brand new case style. This one sold for $622 plus shipping. Beautiful example. This would appear on like Palatoys or Palatoy Tri Logo card backs. But a gorgeous example, and congratulations. I think that price was fair. I was expecting about six fifty, dollars and it went even less than what I expected. So I think that price was more than fair for that one. Uh, next up, we've got to talk about the AFA 90 Yak Face. Wow, look at that price. $1,702. This blows away any recent Yak Face sales price that I've seen. Uh, I believe there was an AFA 85 Plus that sold for about eleven dollars or $1,200 earlier in 2022. This admittedly was an AFA 90. It looks every bit of an AFA 90, but $1,702, that is just a stratospheric eye-popping number. Wow, um, that is going to be the new high watermark, in my opinion, for a loose gridded yak face. But $1,700 took that one home. And then finally, I, you know, this wasn't everything that CIB had. They had four or five different Boba Fetts, but I wanted to show this one. This one was an AFA 85 Taiwan painted helmet. Boba Fett. So um, there was one that sold, I think, in 2022, early back during the height of prices that sold at $1,900. And I knew it wouldn't hit that number. But I told Chris W. over at Rogue Five Toys and at Five Idiots Talking Toys on YouTube, I said it would hit $1,500. That was my final guess as to what the sales price would be. And I was very close. It was it sold for $1,564.99. So let's call that about $1,565 plus shipping. But a gorgeous example, here is the label on that light blue painted head Taiwan AFA 85. So congratulations whoever got that because that price is actually lower than some of the very, very high prices I've seen 
earlier in 2022 during the height of the Book of Boba Fett mania when one of these hit $1,900 plus. That's all I really had for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Can you believe these prices? These prices are just not going south at all. And uh, congratulations to those of you who were able to pick up some of these awesome vintage loose-gridded Star Wars figures. Thanks again, and I'll be back soon.